hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm back with one more video and today we are going to cover a new topic which is going to be this one so here this person is trying to ask that there is certain requirement of him that he want an excel file to be converted to a pdf file but in the previous video that i have here here i have covered a specific scenario where i have converted a single excel file to multiple pdf file depending on a scenario so it was not sufficing this person requirement so uh, so i was bit surprised by the way he asked the question but that's okay uh, so i will cover this topic today so here uh, i have the code ready with me so let me first show you the code and then we will talk later more okay so i haven't changed much it is almost similar to the previous one so this was the previous converter file and this is the new one that i have created so here there are a few things less if we compare it to the previous one right so here what we have changed is here we don't have to create multiple pdf files so here we are only creating one pdf file from a single excel file so i will explain the code and i will also st start this code from scratch so at that time i will explain more detail by detail so for now you can see that this is the excel file and this is what we are expecting so let me first show you the excel file and then we will see what we are getting as a result so this is the excel file that i'm using as a reference so you, here you can see that we have around eight columns if i'm counting it correctly and then we have uh, 10 rows right so this is what i'm expecting and here you can see that this is the header so uh, it is in bold and that is what I am expecting from my PDF file also. So I have written a code specifically for this part, right? So I will explain that later. So this is what I am expecting in my PDF file also. So now let's take a look at the PDF file. So this is the generated PDF file. So here you can see that we have the 10 rows and those eight columns. So the exact data that we were expecting. So this is the repository where I'm currently working on. So I will add the link to this repository. So if you want to take a look at the code, then you can, but don't try to copy it. Try to run it at your end by writing your own code, right? So don't try to copy it. That would be one recommendation. And now let's not waste any more time and start with the code. So I would suggest that you take a look at the previous video. And the link for that video is already there in the description. So take a look because there I've explained each and every line. So here I will explain also, but not that much in detail because that I have covered already in that video. So here, what we will do is we will just copy this and take it as a reference. So let's make few changes. So here we are taking the reference of test dot Excel file. And here we don't need this for loop here because we are not going to create multiple PDF file. So I'll just remove this from here and I need this somewhere around here. And let's change the name to converted PDF and let's format this a bit All right so this looks good so now let's remove few unnecessary methods so here we have these two methods which are not really required so i'm going to remove them so here instead of get row data this should be get row and this should be get row also right so there are no errors right now these are the only changes that we have to do now let me explain what i have done so first I created an input stream of our Excel file because that is how we can read an Excel file with our Apache POI library. So with our Apache POI library, we are creating a workbook. So this workbook can contain multiple sheets. 
so in a typical excel file we see a single sheet but it can have multiple sheets also like this so here we have to create a workbook which will have these three sheets and then we can get the data from either one of them or from all of them now after getting the workbook we have to get the sheet and we have to provide the index also so here the sheets are starting from index 0 so that is how we get the sheets so I got my sheet from my workbook providing the index and from the sheet I can get the rows and columns data so data is in cells so there are cell which makes rows and columns right so here what I'm doing is basically I know that my header is going to be at zeroth row so let me open the excel sheet one more time so here you can see that this is the header row and it is starting from the very first line so java recognized this from zeroth index right so that is how array and other data structure work also so we start from zero and i know that at the top of my list i'm going to have my header so that is why i'm separating this because i want this header list to be in bold color and when i collect it to a list it is getting easier for me to provide a list and make it bold right so that is what i did here now i know that i need to create a document which is going to be my pdf file so that is why i created a document and here what I'm doing is I have a file name and I am using PDF writer so if you don't know the names you can see here that I have Apache uh, POI for reading the XML uh, XLS files and to create a PDF file I'm using a separate library which is iText PDF so this is coming from the other library now this writer is going to use the path or the name that we need so that is where it is going to get generated the pdf file now we have created the pdf file this document is going to be very important because here we are going to add each and every data so while iterating we are adding the data to this document and this document object is being used by our pdf writer which is going to ultimately convert this document object to a file output stream which is going to be your PDF file right so this is the rough representation here now we have opened this document for editing and remember when we open this we have to close this also so here the document should not be closed here but after the loop iteration is over so it should be somewhere around here now moving on we have created a PDF table so remember this excel file is a table comprising of rows and columns so that is why I have to create a PDF but in my PDF I have to create a table so that is why I'm using a specific class for it so what I need to provide here is this table needs to be of X columns right so these are the columns data that I'm providing so here from a particular row how many number of cells it contains so in my typical excel file if i see this row i know that the count is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is going to get provided here so this object is going to be created for eight columns so now this table object needs to be filled with the data so here i am using my header list which i created above and here you see that there is this true and false I'm using with the same add PDF data method so here what I'm doing is depending on if it is a header or not I'm setting the background color and the border width so that is how it is coming as a bold font right so that is what I'm doing here otherwise there is nothing I'm just adding it to the cell that's it right right now moving on so I added the header data to the table now now I have to get the other data which is these many rows so these rows I have to fetch now so for this I have a loop which is not starting from zero because we have already fetched the zeroth index or the first row now I have to start with the second row so that is why I'm starting with the index one now 
while iterating i'm calling the same method get row from where i got the data and here i'm going to provide the row number and it will get the list then it will add it to the list and remember that this is not a header so it is false and ultimately it is going to add the table object to the document now when we are adding it to the document what is happening is that if I don't reset my table object then it is going to have the previous data also which is your header data plus the second row data and it is going to get appended each time you are adding the document during this loop so that is why we have to reset this so that it can only have the fresh data and afterwards I'm closing the document now let me cover the get row method so here depending on the type of the cell I'm adding the data of that type right there is nothing new this is pretty much obvious and typical so it this is also what I have done in my previous video also so here in this code also it is almost actually exactly same so here is so here there is no change so you can take a look at the previous video to get more information about this method so now let's run this code and see if we are getting the expected outcome or not so as you can see here the process got finished with no errors so now let's take a look at our PDF file so as you can see here it is quite expected so this is it for this video I really hope you liked the content of this video and it would be really great if you can like share this video and subscribe to my channel so this is it for this one I hope that we will meet in some other video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye